In today's video, I'll answer your question, how can I have the mind of Christ? Then afterwards, as always, I'll share some helpful resources, so stick around until the end. In 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 16, Paul quotes Isaiah chapter 40, verse 13, and then makes a statement concerning all believers. We have the mind of Christ. Having the mind of Christ means sharing the plan, purpose, and perspective of Christ, and it is something that all believers possess. Having the mind of Christ means we understand God's plan in the world to bring glory to himself restore creation to its original splendor, and provide salvation for sinners. It means we identify with Christ's purpose, to seek and to save what was lost. Luke chapter 19, verse 10. It means we share in Jesus' perspective of humility and obedience, compassion, and prayerful dependence on God. In the verses leading up to 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 16, we note some truths concerning the mind of Christ. First, the mind of Christ stands in sharp contrast to the wisdom of man, verses 5 and 6. Second, the mind of Christ involves wisdom from God, once hidden but now revealed, verse 7. Third, the mind of Christ is given to believers through the Spirit of God, verses 10 through 12. Fourth, the mind of Christ cannot be understood by those without the Spirit, verse 14. Fifth, the mind of Christ gives believers discernment in spiritual matters, verse 15. In order to have the mind of Christ, one must first have saving faith in Christ. After salvation, the believer lives a life under God's influence. The Holy Spirit indwells and enlightens the believer, infusing him with wisdom, the mind of Christ. The believer bears a responsibility to yield to the Spirit's leading and to allow the Spirit to transform and renew his mind. Want to learn more? Subscribe so you don't miss the next video. Visit gotquestions.org for more great content and check out the details section below this video. There you'll find one book I recommend along with several links to related questions. If you'd like to learn about Bible Munch or if you're interested in bite-sized devotionals, subscribe to Bible Munch on YouTube. It's linked right here. Now remember, got questions? The Bible has answers. We'll help you find them.